Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a quick, easy job, I think, hopefully, today. That's cursed it, yeah. So, this is one of the local bars. He says that the light goes on and off, and he thinks it's a bad connection here, basically. So, it's not powering up. So, this, you can see that's HDMI in and HDMI out. It's a pass-through. I have no idea why he's got it set to NTSC, but I'll leave it. And then this is where the audio comes out. So and video, but he doesn't use that. So he connects this into one of the channels on his mixer, into his amplifier, and then you can play the sound going out to the TVs through the PA system and the bar. Yeah. So you use these a lot in pubs and places like that. So these are quite handy little jobs. They're usually not too difficult so they're not expensive to fix and if you can fix this like same day for them because that's what they really need you know they sort of say oh i need this for the football tonight or whatever then they're happy to pay yeah just to get that thing fixed quick so let's try a power supply he didn't bring one in but he tells me this was kind of like flashing on and off so i think i know what he means so here's a power supply which i know is a good one the lights on well actually that's okay I mean it's not very bright oh no look see it went off then yeah there it went off so I think he probably has like a bad solder connection here hopefully that's what's wrong with it uh. Let's open it up and let's have a look. So there's one screw here. Oh, that looks like, yeah, the top. Yeah, it's like a seam here. So it looks like if we undo that one, this whole back piece slides off. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, simple as that. So... This is the connector. Oh, yeah, I think that's broken. Just there, actually, right on the edge. I think it's possible the connector itself is broken. This is soldered okay, so there's no problem now. Let me just get the microscope. That's hard to say. I mean, the plastic's moving, but I don't think the pin is. What sometimes happens with these is there's a rivet effectively there, and that's where it loses the connection. Yeah. I'll unsolder this and let's have a good look. Okay, so I've unsoldered that. Let's have a look at it. Well, this is obviously not broken here, yeah. But that, look, I know it's not moving much. But I think you can see there's a bad connection there, yeah, between the this and the that. <laughs> to give it <laughs> a better name, I guess. The this and the that. Okay, let's see if we can fix this. I mean, I could just fit another one. I might have one the right size, but hey, let's have some fun. Yeah. Let's see if we can do this without melting it or breaking it okay can we do it mm -hmm. well I have to say that was pretty good uh, could be quite hot that for quite a little while yeah nothing much to let the heat drain away from it it doesn't move anymore that's for sure i'll just a uh, bit of uh, braid just get the solder off that so it fits into the hole i'll try it actually but it might just want cleaning a little bit oh no actually it went just fine 
Okay. Let's see if this now works. Well, it doesn't, interestingly. <laughs> have I now got a short in the connector? I have. <laughs> I have. Interesting. Well, I fixed these things that way before and it's worked, so what's gone wrong this time? <laughs> Guys, so you can see what's happened. When I put the solder on the back here, yeah, it's all run down inside there. Look. Can you see in the back of there? And there's your short. So it didn't work very well, did it really? That I mean, how difficult can this be? I said, yeah, how hard can this be? It just goes to show there was obviously like a gap because the solder's gone into the gap and soldered to this pin, which is the ground. Uh, okay, well, I think we need another connector. Uh, I think we need another one. So yeah, this is a pull, but Let's use it. Yeah, it fits on there just nice. Just make sure it's sitting flat because it isn't. Okay. Now it's flat, so we can solder the other two, no problem. Okay. I've noticed this one has a slightly bigger pin than that one can you just see a slight difference i think this is a bit just a little bit narrower so what i'll do is i'll give him a power pack that fits into that yeah that also just ensures that his problem wasn't the connector on the power supply because he didn't give me that so if i fit this on here and i give him another power supply then it's going to work but let's test it Now it's lighting up. Okay, guys, so you can see that the light lights up now. I mean, it's not very bright, this thing, but look, it lights up, yeah. Doesn't go off when we waggle it. There's definitely power getting in here. So, yeah, fixed on the second attempt. So, guys, what did we learn from that one? One, easy jobs are not always as easy as they seem. <laughs> Two, these sockets are not always easy to fix, although I have done it before. Uh, and three, make sure you keep some spare parts in for jobs like this, because the only way you're going to make money for these sort of jobs is if you can do them on the day. But having said that, it can be quite profitable. You can charge at least as much as the thing was worth. Yeah, because it's fixed on the day. So hope you enjoyed that short one. I look forward to seeing you all soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.